Hang on. What's going on here? Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. That really does help me out a lot and hopefully it makes sure that you won't miss these when they go live. Now we're back with a band I have not looked at on the channel yet and that makes me very excited. They are a progressive metal band out of Melbourne, Australia and they are called Neoblibiscorus. The song I'm looking at is And Plague Flowers the Kaleidoscope live in Colorado 2016. Colorado shout out Avalanche. Um... Yeah, just super excited to see what they're about. The opening frame has six people in it. And when I hear progressive metal, I know they're all going to be doing something pretty special. So, without further ado, Nea Blibiscorus and Plague Flowers the Kaleidoscope Live in Colorado 2016. Let's see what you got. So as I said before, we are Nea Blibiscorus. We come all the way from Melbourne, Australia. We have been wanting to come here to the US for so long. And it's just absolutely amazing to have so many of you here and early to see us. So thank you guys so much. We really, really appreciate it. We have one more song for you guys tonight, but before we get into that, over in that back corner over there is uh, our merch desk, and about five minutes after this show, we're going to be hanging out over there, so plug, come have a drink with us, plug that merch, buddy, and we will do our best to come back and see you guys again as soon as we can. This one's off our album, Portal of Eye, this one's called, And Plague Flowers, The Kaleidoscope. Okay. Mm. Oh wow, this song is 12 and a half minutes. Pack a lunch, people. Pack a lunch. Um he's a very talented individual. Um whenever I see a strings instrument, I always get confused and scared. I'm like, violin, viola? I'm pretty sure it's a violin, but it's really, really nice, dirty sound on that because you can hear the distortion, you can hear the drive, there's a squeak when he pulls that bow away, a lot of character, you can hear the personality of the person playing because when they release that tension, there's a slight wobble there, it's, it's going to happen, but it's nice, it makes it sound authentic, like a wind instrument when you can hear the wind as powerfully as you can hear the notes, very cool. The uh, reason I stopped is because the guitarist is doing a nice strumming pattern clean there and that is actually going to kick in at some point. You can't latch onto that rhythm, you can't figure out what it is or why it's there yet but it will make sense soon, I'm, I'm sure of that. Um, and it's one of those where when it kind of kicks in, and I'm sure the drums will help do that at some point, you kind of go, okay, that's the pattern. Uh, but really interesting to hear them blend so far together. There's a lot. Um, I'm a big fan of what the bassist is doing when he's doing a lot of the kind of, again, linking between that percussive and, and elements in the melody, the rest of the music, which is your more melodic or tonal value instruments. So like your guitar and your strings. Um, drummer's doing work, man. A lot of nice cymbal work, delicate work where he's hitting the bell uh, on his ride and then he's switching over. A lot of nice stuff on the hi-hat. But essentially he's doing a bunch of um, fills that are positioned as a beat. So he's not gone into a traditional uh 
traditional drum beat at least. He's doing a lot of work that is uh, providing a backbone to a beat. It's cyclic, you can kind of hear where it stops and starts, but uh, a lot of it is uh, to up the busyness to make it an increase in kind of that tempo and energy. And it's nice, it feels very like jazzy, very loungy. There's a lot of em emphasis placed on the upstrum on a lot of the guitar work because you're starting on the down, but there's a lot of upstrum work, which again gives you the brightness at the bottom. Same same chord value, same same tone, but you start with the brightness, and quite often you miss the top thicker strings, so um, you end up with just the brightness, and you don't have that low end to it, which is why there's a nice um, like kind of high mid element to what they're doing. And uh, this guy just going off there with the with violin, man, he's killing it, killing the damn thing. That's special. I love that man. I'll go back one more to lead in, but that's very, very, very cool because I didn't know where they're gonna go. Uh, you know, twelve minutes. You figure they're gonna take the song in different places, but that, that was a bit unexpected for me to go into the distortion piece where actually that distorted sound, whether it be the mix or whether it be um, a deliberate piece, it's actually not the primary. The bass is coming through as their primary, and damn, is he doing work? It's a bit of a seesaw effect to that piece he's playing because he's going up and then he goes down and up and down, and there's a nice run in between those two. Uh, Drum has gone from that intense busyness into nice double kick and into a standard beat. You know, it's just going off on those cymbals. So it, it doesn't. The impact isn't not at all by any means lost, but it's definitely a transfer of energy from that busyness into a different kind of busyness. And that's cool. Um, this is awesome. I like it. What's going on here? Okay, so, um, so I didn't know, I thought when the singer, the other singer, not, not this guy, um, the other singer, I thought when he came in, I expected there to be a clean vocal, yet he's screaming. You got this guy doing the long dragged out phrases. There's not a lot of vibrato to it, but it's very steady. It's very in tune. Like he's, he's nailing that. There's a lot of power. So he commits to that note quite early. There's not a lot of attack on it and he stays there. And he dips off quite quickly as well, and I think that that's like um, it's it's when you when you when you're singing live. Um, I've seen a lot of singers, and I've spoken to a lot of singers. You say if you can attack that note quite early, and you can just find that comfortability, you can stay in there for a bit longer. Um, and it is a long, drawn out vocal sound, so that's cool. And singers just screaming, man. Um, cool though. It's very it, the scream is so much more aggressive than the music, and there's a nice balance between those two, as a or a contrast at least. Drummers just kick work has gone insane. Ironically, it's the same kind of melody and beat that they were playing just before they kicked into that. There's just an increase in that energy with the drumming and the singing is coming because the bassist is doing the same stuff. That's that's cool.
I got to stop it there, man. There's so much going on here. I'm going to leave it where it is because it's in the middle of uh, of the, the... I don't know what this is. Is this a chorus? Whatever it is, I'm on board, man. It's it's fire. Um, I like it. It's 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 very busy. One thing I will mention is the drum, drum is making smart choices. He's doing pieces that are actually quite long form pieces. So he's sticking to an idea for an extended period of time, longer than you'd usually hear someone stick to an idea for. So he's doing small things just there, like he was accenting the bell on one of the symbols. He's giving you something fresh and new to that get your ears to latch onto, to almost let you know, or almost take your mind off of the fact that what he is doing how be it so impressive is actually happening for quite a long period of time. And it's nice because you had the um, lead work back on the violin, then you had um, their vocals kicking again. There's a nice balance. They're kind of letting things go for a long while and it's very arty and it's very um, deliberate, but it does work. It 100% works. And uh, I, I get the feeling that they recorded like on an album, it may sound awesome, but they're a live band. When there's this much going on to experience it like you're seeing it now, and I mean, this is just a fraction of that because we're watching a video, but it, it looks cool. A second here he's saying thank you very much and they're halfway through so i don't know where we're going i'm going to leave it there for a second remarkable talent that guitarist uh, a lot of sweep in there where he's getting every note dead on there's a nice tone to it i was going to comment and say i want the song to add something else i feel like it's been in this place for a bit and there you go guitar comes in with an awesome solo killer solo uh they're all very talented you can see that a mile away just because they were strumming different chords and playing patterns earlier and that distortion there's a nice clean element to it you can hear the undertone of the value of those notes um that's because it's not just like fully over distorted and crazy i do like the tone of that particularly of that solo and um yeah it, it just when you want it to change it does and that's very cool um a lot of it is quite self-indulgent in a good way. Again, that's not meant as an insult. A lot of it is these guys are incredible musicians and they kind of want to play music that uh, challenges them, that inspires them, but is also listenable for everyone else. And so far, they're ticking the box. Now with the scars. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> damn 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 that's cool man that's fire um i like that a lot um to be honest when he stopped there and said thank you there's so much going on they could be in a different song right now and i wouldn't know i don't quite care though because i'm i'm enjoying it um again just when you wanted it to change it does and uh whatever we're listening to right now is really cool you're getting those extremely quick gallops um not necessarily gallops but they're extremely quick uh, double kick work galloping on the guitar and uh it's matched up and aligned very 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 tightly for something that is live and quite evidently very live it's not being cleaned up a lot there's a lot of bleed on the cymbals you can hear a lot of squeaks on the guitar and i like that it's an authenticity to it which makes me realize that they are more about that live experience than they are trying to provide something that is just too polished
Ooh, that's smart. That's cool. That's essentially um, the strings version of alternate picking. It, you, he's going so quickly up and down with that bow and he's creating that um, really nice kind of wobble effect. Sounds like it's wobbling. It's actually this up and down, essentially strumming, but he's doing it with the, with the bow. He's doing it so quick that you have to keep an eye on his right hand. Um, and you can see his elbow tweaking a bit to show like, and he's just so in control of it. He's looking around. He's not trying to like overplay that. It's just, it's fitting very nicely with what the guitars are doing. Face. Yes, I love that. I love breaking into that kind of chord structure where you've gone from that alternate trim picking into something that actually gets done by a lot of core bands. Um, Under Oath do it. It's that kind of chord that sits right at the bottom, the distortions on it, but it sounds like it's moving. It sounds like it's building to something. This guy can scream. I can't hear everything perfectly because of the live mix, but um, he's got a scream on him and it's consistent. You can see he's also very comfortable with it. And yes, does he have the tightest vest on that's ever been made? Possibly. We don't know. Buddy, look at you with the hips. Look at you with the hips. He puts down his bow and look at him. Becomes Beyonce. Look at him go. I'm a big fan. Um, they're vibing it and I'm vibing it. I'm all aboard. Two quick things, I'll let it stay there. I love when a drummer has a bunch of cymbals and he actually uses all of them. Why else are they there? He's getting his money's worth. Also, this piece they're playing on the guitar is really nice because there's a counter, there's a retreat in it. So they are moving up the neck, but the slide goes down. And when they move down, the slide will go up. So there's a counter to what they're doing. They're moving in a certain direction, but there is a backtrack. And um, that's that slide noise you hear and he's playing on just the two strings. He's hitting all of them, but he'll be playing predominantly on, on a on at least just two of those strings to provide the clarity of that slide. A lot of tapping. So welcome break, really intense, this is pretty. That's very good there, I like that. Another thing with the chord, bass is going off the charts. We're not even going to talk about that yet because the guy's just killing it. Um, that's a nice chord piece there I want you to watch. He's playing a particular chord and then he just takes um, his index finger and he puts it up one. So you get the same derivative of the bottom of that but you get a new uh, freshness to the chord. It's very nice and it's a simple way of just changing up.
when it gets to that part of the song when they're writing it, where they're like, everybody do everything. Okay, when we hit this bar, everyone does everything. Loving the blast beats, love the fact that he's got a GoPro on so we could see that kind of POV. It's intense, man. Nice trade-off there with the singers because um, he's actually got a really good clean vocal. It wasn't just there earlier for effects. It wasn't there to drag those long phrases. He's doing really nice singing. I'm kind of at this point just enjoying it. So I'm not going to be pausing that all that much uh, from now until the end of the song. I'm just really enjoying a lot of what they're doing. Um, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. We get a breakdown. See? See what happens when you jump in the crowd all excited? They almost dropped you. And that's your fault because you're playing such amazing music, they weren't expecting it. And then you went and you jumped on them. It's pretty cool though. Bass sounds like a heartbeat. Thank you guys so much. We got nailed with this cars. We'll be back soon, we hope. Thank you. Very cool. Glad I looked at that. I'm exhausted. I need to take a nap. That is a whole lot of a whole lot. Um there were parts of it that I mean it's the equivalent of going to like a, a jazz festival. And jazz for me. You know, the middle version, of course. Jazz for me has always been something that's a little bit complicated. I'm a more blues guy because I do want things. I want I want structure. I want melody. I want things I can remember and find again. And um, that challenges me on a, on a whole different level. And I thought they're phenomenal, phenomenal musicians. I think it was a good song. And I am definitely keen to hear more. Maybe a little bit of a shorter one next time. Maybe one that's not going to take four days to export. But I had a blast doing that one. Um... Really enjoyed it and, and definitely keen to hear more. So we'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know where to go next. Until then, please be safe. Be nice to each other. Have a damn good day. Okay.